We were stronger than he expected, so Silverback fled. This is your chance, my brother told me. His castle is to the north, and he won't be ready for you. We marched north and took on his castle before he had a chance to catch his breath. His forces there were strong, but we still had the scent of victory in our blood. Hello, my name is Troublemaker. Playing some Stronghold 3 Gold. I'm playing the Blockstaff DLC. I don't know what that means, but I'm playing it. We're doing some castle sieging. So, Stronghold 3, first impressions. Um, it's not a bad game, it's not a great game. It's actually just Stronghold. It's the exact same thing as Stronghold. And that's kind of, you know, a little bit disappointing uh, and good. It's good because it's familiar, you know what you're doing, but it's disappointing because the game is actually not evolved one bit. It's actually the exact same 100% 10 game all the way through. Compared to other RTSs like, say, StarCraft 2, in which um, you are, um, you know, got a whole different set of units available and all that. So we have two attack paths here. One right here with a lot of peasants to fight through. But then we have a nice way through. We get over here and we can start sieging up pretty early. Um, I might consider taking this path. It looks much, much easier. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to do a little bit of harangment. Take it this. Uh, there's a lot of sticks here. Snake sticks. And hopefully I can siege him down. Can siege equipment not get through here? Is that the the uh, the twin little blessing? Yeah, siege equipment cannot get through there. That's not good. Whatever. Um, gives a good position for our bowmen though, which is good. Bowmen. Maybe you can get through here. Let's keep trying this. And these poor peasants getting shot down one by one. Oh yeah, you can totally get your catapults. So they're perfect. This works out perfect. Oh, I destroyed all your wood. Yeah, I don't really know what these snake traps do or stake traps do, so I'm just going to destroy them all. Whatever. No biggie. And we should move our entire army up this way, I guess. Um, try to find some places I can pick off units, I guess. No one, None of their guys can actually hit my guys, which is great. And this looks like a good, maybe a decent place to set up. I don't know. Let's see, can the archers hit over this hill area? There's a lot of weird line of sight. Like, look at this. This looks like you should be able to just plop right here. Oh, yeah, you can totally hit from here. Oh, yeah, this is actually lose all the arrows boys uh, this is, uh, creates a high ground scenario for me which is perfect in which I can actually take down this tower very effectively uh, if you're playing through this and this is your problem which I'm betting it is cause this was my problem <laughs> tell you right the bat I had problems with this quite a bit and the problem is that this pathing is just not that obvious so we're gonna, you know knock down all the units in this little gully here that's great Let me try and get some more of these tower archers. Can I get these tower archers? Are they going to let me have them? No. Can't have them? Okay. We'll move our archers back. We will move the catapults in play. We can also do that right here. Snipe these guys as well. Be a huge bonus. And uh, maybe we can knock down some wall too. That'd be great. That'd speed things right along. Oh, uh, difficulties in this. Um, this fixes a lot of things. It gets um, basically... Okay, I'll break this down a little bit. I'll start from the beginning. You go this way. There's some javelins here. You get them with archers. There's some enemies here. You knock down the wall first, then you deal with these enemies. Uh, you kill off the javelins after breaking down this entire wall, just with archers. You break down this entire wall and merge along the left side here. The big problem is, is the big giant tower in the middle has a huge radius, so you have to kind of creep along the side. And, um... 
basically by oh that destroyed the entire wall okay like that. and uh, yeah then you come you so you break down this wall you go this way you don't want to go this way because there's just too many units here and you don't have a lot of units this is all Greek fire or oil whatever you want to call it and so you're going to use peasants here to uh, eight fires and peasants are worth about three gold they're not particularly useful so it's going to be a fair trade no matter what um, and you break down this wall, and then you go after the Lord, and then you're done. Now the problem is, if you do this without doing this little back path here, uh, you run into this wall, and you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose all your archers to like four archers, just because of the high ground advantage. Um, so instead, what you do, you, you get a huge advantage by taking up the archers with archers. Can I hit these archers? If I could hit those archers, that'd be huge. I can, that's great. But I, I'm down to seven archers. Keep in mind, with this wall cleared out, you're, you pretty much don't need archers. So if I can get all these archers, that'd be huge. Three archers left. And... Well, I'll get started crunching down this wall now. And I still have one archer left, so that's good. And this archer can pretty much just pick out these dudes down here. Whatever. Just less stuff for me to deal with later on. Uh, the lack of archers, though, is going to be kind of problematic. Um, if you're doing this for perfect play, what I do is I go this, this, this first. Get those first. Knock down this wall, then come around the back, and then hit it this. And the reason I say this is because you kind of need the archers to deal with the javelins. And uh, this, like, on hard mode, I think that will probably be required. Not too sure, though. Uh, there are crossbowmen here, which are dangerous, so I won't be able to engage them up here. But this is looking uh, pretty doable by comparison of uh, what we had before. So just do whatever damage you can, you know. We'll not get a building or two as well. And then start repositioning. Oh, look, he's actually going to maybe come all the way around. He's going to come all the way around with his entire army. That's cool. That is really cool. Thankfully, my entire army is just kind of sitting here. That is intriguing. I wonder if the high ground advantage here would be enough for one archer to get a huge advantage over um, crossbowmen. I just want to try this out just because I'm, I'm, cu I'm curious. I'm a curious cat. So my archer is going along the bank right here. Archer not particularly needed right now. I can still get pretty far without the archer. Uh, the, art the artillery I do need though. I need to break down one, two more walls of this. And in fact, the archer can actually hit every single one of these crossbowmen without being hit. So uh, all in all, this is a massive improvement. So yeah, if you're doing this on hard mode, I think the way you're going to do this is you're going to go here with your archers. Here, the archers knock all that out. Break down this wall, then bring your catapult and your archers back here. Take out this, and then have your archers just camp out here for the rest of the game. Just slowly picking away at uh, any crossbowmen they can. And the crossbowmen are all getting pissed or relocating. Looks like they're going to try and rush me. Which works out. Looks like we have some uh, some puppy problems. Oh, wait. Keep you there, though. Looks like the puppies are all upset downstairs. I don't know if you can hear that. Angry, angry dogs. And yeah, this, this push right here right, that I'm going to do right now is going to be a little bit harder than what it was before just because I don't have the archer support for the javelins. But, you know, I'm pretty well fine. Now there's no crossbowmen here in this particular location. In fact, the crossbowmen are actually one by one going to approach my army. And that's intriguing to me. So we can probably just pull these guys back here. Just pull these guys back here. We want to we want to use the javelins against these crossbowmen. And we'll want to do it right here. Because when he comes around this corner, what's going to happen? Javelin. Javelin. So if we can do that, that'd be awesome. Just got to get them there in time. 
and it's a range of, like the thing with crossbow is that they're really really strong and hard to deal with but on the Can we hit this? We can in fact hit these guys, that's great. Yeah, on the side of um, Javelins, um, on the side of Crossman they do insanely high damage. That's what I meant to say. And, um, yeah, so this is just a patience thing now. Like, I can just slowly, slowly pull all his units away into my Javelin trap. This is working out great. How much stuff can I hit here? I can almost, I can almost pull the entire interior at it into the javelin trap, because you know javelin again. Oh no, you are at a position right now. You weren't at a position before, but you're at a position now. And this is a little bit cheap, I'll, I'll admit, but it works pretty well. I and mean, this is, you know, this is not an easy campaign to do by any means. And just one by one, they will run into my uh, my uh, trap card. Can I hit these guys? If I hit these guys, that's huge. That's like, no, I can't hit these guys. Can I? No, I can't. If I hit the Lord, that'd be huge. some weird angle. Like maybe right here and hit the Lord. I don't know. We're waiting for the entire interior to rush, and I can actually even imagine like how I'd set this up. And this is, if you're playing this on hard, this is a good idea. Clear this, clear this, run around the back, use archers to clear this, break down walls with catapults. Actually, you don't need to break walls down with catapults, just clear the stuff with archers. And then run around the back here, pull out all these units with archers, have them run into a trap like right here, pull your units back here and just have them picked off. And then your march forward should be pretty easy. So I guess that's all we can really do. I picked off what we can. Can you hit anything? Can you hit this guy? No, oh, your your job is done, eh? All right, that's cool. Those guys are luckily pretty fast. One archer is not going to make too big of a difference. So we're going to javelin down the dogs first, just because dogs are actually dangerous. It's much easier to archer them down, but we're going to javelin them down. Let's be at them. And the thing with javelins is that javelins are not uh, like archers, the bow, arrows. They, they, you know, go outward. What is this? Some kind of beggar? Whereas the javelins are very, very precise. They hit a target. So uh, it's almost seemingly smart to kind of split these guys up a bit. So they hit different targets. Just like that, just hit different, different targets at once, and they're not all like if they all hit one target, you're gonna lose a lot of damage. So you, but you split them up, um, you know they're gonna be quite effective. So we're gonna move into siege position, slow and steady. That's how we're gonna win this. Break down this wall. Break down this wall. Um, to me, this is this this here is gonna be kind of a problem. I'll be honest with you. So many archers. Um, before what I do is I just break down this wall, and this will all just get wiped out by archers. This won't be brutal anymore. This will be quite easy to deal with, actually. You just gotta, you know, send some pe some peasants to deal with the uh, with the oil. So that's good. Now a little bit closer, and luckily this doesn't seem to pull the. Uh, these dudes. So you can break down a big giant chunk of this wall beforehand. Uh, two, two javelin tosses will destroy every unit in the game except for armored ones. So any light armored unit will get just rocked by uh, by that. Just keep breaking down walls. It's because we're on a good line of attack. There we go, that's a pretty good line. Let's get one more wall down though. Dude, their their enemies are, like their units are always like invincible and mine always suck. And that pisses me off to no end. Uh 
So I think I'm winning the Javelin Wars right now. Oh, I get some of you guys on this one. Split them up, split them up. Yeah, we can just melee them, whatever, whatever. And all is good. Now, we're still not out of it. We gotta get past this, which isn't too hard, but it's something. Break down this wall, run through this fire, run along the back, and he only has two soldiers and a king left. Compared to my uh, four knights, twelve peasants, one archer, seventeen pikemen, four sappers who have been pretty much useless this whole time, and catapults. Let's actually use the sappers to break down this wall. Um, I don't know if it's true, but it's kind of a weird thing. So, sappers, um, you know, they knock down. If they manage to get to the castle without being shot, they will erect a makeshift hoarding to help protect themselves. Then, the crowbar and pick up. I don't know if that is actually true, though. So, I look up the animations, I guess. Let's see if there's any truthiness to this. Um, so, let's see. Are they protected? And this is kind of the question. I don't see them... I don't see any makeshift anything going on right now. I think they just die. But yeah, they do break down walls pretty effectively. Like, But the downside is apparently they're a demoted uh, swordsman. No, we're not putting you guys here. Silly gooses. They're just gonna die. And the thing with the sappers, we don't really need them. And peasants are actually gonna be more useful than them right now. Because these guys don't really have like, let me check that again. Do they have do they have any attack at all? I don't think they actually have an attack, so they're not going to be particularly useful to us. So, we can use our sappers to actually clear this fire. And I think they have a decent amount of health, hit points, so... And they should be decently effective at this. And we just move the rest of our army up. Huh. Is there no fire here? Can sappers just run through fire? Is that what I'm supposed to leave here? Hmm. Okay, I don't trust that just yet. And clicking on this is absolutely infuriating. <laughs> he can't. Can he attack? No, he can't attack. He can't actually attack. That's funny. Okay. So, I don't trust that there's no fire here. That's my thing. Uh, maybe the fire is just like with uh, Crusader where it's archer ignited. Which is absolutely possible. In fact, it seems he's pretty safe, so we're going to run through. This catapult has no more function. It is totally useless right now. But we're going to sack the castle. All is well. We have basically... Well, not the best. We have pretty close to the best possible thing we can have right now. We have... Uh, three sappers, we have 17 pikemen, we have four swordsmen, 12 peasants. We could have more archers. We could probably have like maybe a couple, two or three more archers, but this is possibly the best you can possibly do. Possibly, possibly, possibly. We're going to come around the back, and we don't want to be in range of this, and we're just going to go. Um, we're going to go for a kill. Pikemen will do very good against the Lord, because just how direct their tosses are. So we're just going to do our same old tactic. We're going to pull units, and then run. So we're going to try and get rid of these uh, stronger guys first. One at a time. No friggin' stupid peasants, don't run yet. We're going to do a little more kiting first. 50% health just from that pike damage, that's great. Okay, now you can go. I don't want to engage my pikemen in this just yet. I want them to be doing lots of splashy damage. Pull this guy now. The Lord seems to be pretty happy just doing nothing. God, stupid peasants. Stop doing this. Oh, that's, that's sappers. Oops. God, they do so much damage. Look at that. This must... Stupid dogs. Must, this must get horribly abused in multiplayer. I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to say right now. Okay, now we can 
pretty much just sapper these guys now. Like, this guy doesn't seem to move, so we can, I think, just pike this guy down. Uh, yeah, just slow and steady. I don't want to lose any extra units, so he doesn't seem to move. So we'll, uh, You guys can all go back there. I just want to do this crazy micro thing where you're just hitting pikes. Getting hit by old women. You know, same old, same old. God, I just got just, just owned by pikes so badly. We're going to go inside this little granary. I... I I'm probably going to pay a penance for trying to destroy buildings. Like, maybe in the next mission I just won't have those buildings. But yeah, you can't build units. So this is, you know, the most cost-effective way to do this. I suspect this is how you do a high score as well. So the king is down his knees. So he's pretty weak right now. Lord Silverback. Pray and please. Pikeman, go away. You are annoying. You know that as a lord I can only go so far in my keep. See not die? He's really dead right now. Oh, there we go. He's dead. The keep is ours. Okay, is there some kind of meter here for me to fill up or what? Yes! I'm so good at this game! We are victorious! Oh my god, that's such a terrible score. Oh my god. Oh, I got two check marks here. What does that mean? Let's see, gold mod, none. Food, none. Armor, none. Leaderboard? I don't think this is... I, I have a feeling this is not specific to maps. I think this is actually for all time and that's just weird to me because it doesn't make sense but that's it that's the mission thank you guys for watching why is it landing on the uh whatever but we have our region there that's part of the build we have one day so i said in the past